In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do development on your Buddy Boss theme. This tutorial is really aimed at developers or at least tinkerers, people who are comfortable editing CSS and HTML and things of that sort. If you watch our other videos about the theme options, our theme has a lot of different options in Buddy Boss theme options, which you can use to configure the logo and various colors and fonts and stuff. This tutorial is really for people who want to go deeper than that with their own customizations. So first, make sure you're using the child theme that came with uh, the theme. Please do not edit the main parent theme. If you do that, you're asking for trouble because as soon as an update comes out to the parent theme, when we fix something or add a feature, you're gonna download that update and it's gonna erase all your edits. Uh, so that's very dangerous. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna do everything properly in the child theme. This way, uh, when you update this, nothing gets erased. The child theme basically overwrites what's in here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first make sure you've activated the child theme. And then now at this point, we have to get into code. So. Let me find the folder where this is at. Okay, so this is on my local host. So I'm gonna go to sites, but us platform. This is just where my demo is at. You would wanna find it on your own local host or if this is on a live website through FTP or download it. You know, you, you can read on your own how to do uh, gen generic theme development. So we're gonna go find the theme and find Buddy Boss theme child. And then in here, this is our child theme. So we have some different things in here you should be aware of. So one is the screenshot. That's what's showing up here. If you create any image and call it screenshot.png and replace this, that will take over as the screenshot. And then we have our functions file. And in the functions file, you'll see some things. So here we're setting up our languages, comment this. Then you can have a child theme directory for languages. And then we have the script. So this is calling custom.css and custom.js uh, for adding our own custom CSS and JavaScript, which I'll get into in a moment. And then we have functions. So in here, this area is where you're going to add all your own PHP functions. Any functions you put in here will will run on the website automatically as long as the child theme is activated. All right, let's go into CSS and JavaScript. So you saw that was calling these two files so custom.css. So in here, you can add your own CSS and whatever CSS you add will show on the theme. So like, for example, if I go like that, let's see. Sometimes you have to clear your cache because it's showing, it's using a version of the CSS file that it has stored locally. If you clear the cache, then it will erase that and use whatever your edit was. And now the background is red and that is coming from the CSS I added into the child theme. So pretty simple. And then I also mentioned, make sure to respect the media queries. Otherwise you may accidentally add desktop styles to the mobile app. So if you're not familiar with media queries, this URL you can go to, which basically explains how to do it. All it is is it lets you target the screen width and have different styles depending on the screen width. So you'll wanna, as you're adding your own CSS, uh, make your browser window wider and smaller so you can get into mobile view and make sure that whatever you add doesn't accidentally break one or the other. If it does, add some media queries. Okay, so that's the custom.css. And then we're gonna add custom.js and here we can add custom JavaScript and that will load. So this is really meant to be a starter pack, like a starting framework. If you don't want to load any custom JS, you might wanna comment it out so it's not loading an extra file for no reason. And if you wanna load more style sheets, you could do like this, uh, just give it like a name like that or something. And then in that CSS folder, you would add this style sheet with that name you could add multiple style sheets. So you can really customize this to your heart's content depending on your skill set. But this is meant to be, again, a starting framework for you.